Я родился сегодня утром, еще до первого света зари. As far as I can remember, I was singing when I was three and four. I always felt this uh, a strange feeling when I was listening to music, but uh, it means more than the other people give it credit for. So I was into music since I was a very young kid. Music is a special sort of enchantment, I would say, that uh, works when you hear the first couple of notes. I would say the music is sort of an ocean. So, uh, so I just venture into the ocean and I follow the waves. I don't, certainly don't control it. I have to be in a special uh, mood. And uh, then when I play my guitar long enough, the thing I start to come, like I fall into this enchantment. First I have to feel the mood and then uh, I look for words that will uh, mean something for me, even one line or a couple of words. And then the music comes naturally like feeling the empty vessel and then it gives the words sort of wings and it instead of simple words it becomes something much more I found out a long time ago that uh, I cannot translate the song because uh, any song is is written in a specific kind of language and you ha you cannot break the enchantment it's not uh, it cannot be broken down into logical things. The song definitely has its own life. I can uh, only try to make the song, any kind of song, to make it positive, to make it make people feel better because uh, you can take any set of lyrics and make it a depressing thing that's an easy thing but uh, it's much harder to work a song into a shape where it really inspire people I was growing up in the Soviet Union where all sorts of good music were, you couldn't, couldn't hear it anywhere. And so when I first heard the Beatles, and it was, I was lucky enough, it was 1964, uh, it went like this, oh, now I know. And from then on it was easy, because I started investigating all kinds of religions just to get myself an explanation of why I feel this special joy. And it coincided. It's a living feeling. I mean, when I sing, uh, I just feel alive, only more alive than, for example, now. Now I'm sort of, you know, 50% dormant. And when I sing, that's when I really live. Well, since I discovered music when, uh, even before the Beatles, when I was a small kid, it has been a thrilling, uplifting experience, close to ecstasy. And uh, the more I grow up, uh, the better it is. So, after a while, everything becomes an uplifting experience, and unique experience, uh, as soon as I pay attention to it. I mean, you can sit down and look at, at the grass, or out to the sea, and it can become an uplifting experience. But uh, the only missing ingredient was uh, the meditation. As soon as I learned what a meditation is, it gave me a chance to transform every mundane experience into a great one. I'll, 
I know music without life because it exists everywhere. Life just gives it colors and textures and everything else. And life without music. Then again, I, I, I see life, we don't hear any music at the moment, but it's music everywhere, if you pay attention to it. Because music is a, our name for harmony. It's a harmony that we can hear. But then we can see harmony, we can feel harmony. Harmony is, a, is the point. Но я не мог бы упустить тебя, как не мог бы не увидеть рассвет. You know, the world is a perfect place. The problem is with us humans, we don't see it. We're not being taught to see it. So I would say that if somehow the simplest thing in the world, the meditation, could be learned or taught at schools, people wouldn't pay attention to it. <laughs> That's a problem. But if, uh, if they could, it could make uh, life better for everybody concerned. Because life is great, we don't see it. We must be taught to see it. Because there is a, this great silence inside of everybody. The source of all inspiration, of everything.